Alrighty, hey, it's Andre here. This is take two. Take one was yesterday. Um, I tried to create a note archive from scratch and that didn't work out so great. It's too much rambling. So what I've decided to do today is I've pre I've copied out some of my notes from my main archive. I'll explain what that means in a second and created some new ones today. So I've got my screen set up here. You should see three windows, the uh, small browser window on the left, uh, my iPad in the middle with um, a sketch. The sketch is essentially a visual representation of this archive that I have here. Um, so you can see there's a few notes here and uh, you can probably see down the bottom here is the text files that make up this um, this archive section here. Yeah, so currently there's 12 items, uh, 12 notes. Um, the nice thing with the archive app, this is what I'm using here, is it basically just creates text files, markdown text files. Um, so I have mine on Dropbox, so they're always backed up, they're always synced across all my devices. Um, and that's one of the reasons why I really like using the archive. Um, I guess in a way a negative with from my perspective anyway with um, Evernote is it's a black box um, the notes are in their system and you don't have them as text files uh, you can certainly export them but I like this this way of, of working so I've created a brand new archive inside the archive you can have as many archives and an archive is just basically a collection of notes my main note archive is very big um, the bigger the archive becomes, the more power there is in searching for stuff because then that's when um, notes start to, where you start to see signals. And so if you, when you do a search, uh, basically the archive is just is just a search engine of search for, of, of text files. So if I had to type in Andre here, there's only one mention of Andre. Um, so it's just I've basically done a search across all my text files. If I type in heavy or uh, Ferris, Tim Ferris, so you can see there's four four notes that reference Ferris. Um, now, obviously, the more notes you have in the system, the better this is going to be. So, so right at the moment, now it's a tiny little system, just a few notes. So, what I've done here um, in the on the iPad is I have these dots you can see them here I'll draw this with the yellow cokey there we go so you can see there 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 and there and um, that's what I call structured notes so a structured note is essentially like an index of a book um, so if I go inside here um, People. People is a structured note. A structured note, um, in my world anyway, this is not, um, um, it's neither right nor wrong, it's just the way that I like to operate, is my structured notes is I uh, have the syntax SN with a double hash and then a double hash with whatever I want it to be. So when I'm in my, my big archive and I want to find somebody um, and I know but I can't remember their name but I know that's um, they're a person so I would have put them inside of the person structured note I just do hash hash PBL um, so that's my quick way of locating my people structured note and whenever I put a new person inside of here I'll always add them to this note here so if there's somebody um, new me chaperone and I would do that and um, inside of um, the archive you do control um, command U it generates a unique ID um, so what I'm going to do is so that note doesn't exist yet if you look at my text files here this there's nothing that says Andre chaperone yet now so if I click on that what it does is it puts that ID into the search box and it says there's no notes. 
the nice thing, all I need to do is basically hit enter and it creates that. But I like to put a, an identifier, a text identifier at the end. So if I put enter now, it's now created it and you will see there it, it's created the text file there. So um, I have a process. I use text expander and I have a, my text expander for creating a new note is semicolon inbox and it automatically fills in a blank uh, almost like a template and so what I do is I put a hash there which is an h1 um, I'll then put my ID over here and then I'll create some tags and the tags is basically how do I want to find this note in the future for me in my main archive my Andre note is basically hash hash Andre so I've, I'm a structured note and then I'll always put S in I'll explain why shortly um, so I'm, I'm my own structured note so if I, if, if I ever want to go to my Andre note I just do hash hash Andre and I know I'll come straight to my, my, my note I don't have to go to people first um, but if I empty that and I go slash slash PPL it's my people note and then I can get to me that way um, what I like to do is I like to create links back so currently there's a link from people to Andre but there's no link from Andre back to people so I like to take that so this is the people structured note and then I'll go to me and I'll do people and so now I've got a link back to the structure note and you can see that this is just a loop and this is stuff for me here um, so if I clear the search box you can see all, all my notes there again and there's a new Andre Chaperon structured note and if I had to represent that on my iPad here how would it be there's a little dot there for me and this will be Andre structured note and that so currently there's no links off it because I've got no links currently okay so um, that's a structured note a structured note and again um, I've copied um, what the what the German guys do um, uh, one of them I think uh, Sasha he does a hash hash to represent any structured note and for me that's just easy the way if, if I don't have a structured note um, it'll just be hash tag uh, you know a tag so if I go into Gibraltar here, I see it's hash city hash country it's just ways that I could find this in the future um, now if you look on my diagram in the top left hand corner here and uh, no, she's not the top left hand corner it's in the center it's travel you can see over there so that's my travel structured note so to get to that I just do slash slash travel and you can see I'm at my travel structure note and I set my structure notes up more or less like an index and with all the IDs that point to the different things so you can see that represented on the on the image over there um, so if I go to cities if I click on that link the only city I've got in here currently is Gibraltar and if I go into that there's nothing there um, so one of the the concepts around the um, creating Zettles or a Zettel custom um, system is a note is really a very small thing it's a I like to think of them as dots um, it's not quite ideas although some of my my notes are a bit more fleshed out as an idea even though they should really be smaller smaller items and the German guys like to think of them as atoms and then atoms if you get a group of atoms it's called a molecule and for me a group of a group of dots is is an idea so if I had to type in um, ferrous you can see with the ferrous um, uh, 
dot, I guess, is there's a bunch of things. And from these notes here, ideas may start to link up. Now, currently, this these are all, it's kind of, it's quite structured. You know, these are just people that um, I have in the system here that Tim's interviewed. But later on, where things have become more complex and bigger, um, there could be references that are non-linear. So if you look at the this blog post on the left hand side, yeah, you can see how many times your notes will go across. For example, let's see if I have one over here. Um, if I go into mental models. So here's a list of mental models. Um, I pulled this out of my, my main archive. Um, so mental models typically will well anything if I'm if I'm doing a book review. I'll create a note for the main book and that'll essentially be the structured note for a certain book. And then all the ideas within that book will get their own little uh, dot uh, atom, their own idea and I'll link and I'll credit like this. Um, so that's going from left to right to right to left over here. But then over time you'll start to see things happening um, vertically, which is the non-lateral you know non-linear ideas start to um start to show themselves um so yeah um so mental models here you can see this is a good a good um yeah this is essentially what a lot of my structure notes look like it almost looks like a book index and then if i if you you know, if I want to go to first principles, I could probably, you know, I can just in the search box here, I can type in first, you can start, you can start to see um, it's narr it's narrowing things down. If I do space P or INC, well, first principles is mentioned on both of these. Um, so I can either get to there directly. That's the first principles note, or I can go there. You can see it's highlighted what I just typed in and then get to it that way so the little search this little search engine yes is super powerful and there's many and there's many ways of getting to where you want to get to um, so for me you know I could I could I would typically type out first principles if there's an idea of a certain mental model that I'm trying to find um, otherwise I'll just go to mental models and I'll pick what I need which is the power which is the power of having structured notes so in my main archive I have a lot of people that are that are in there now and I can't remember them all so I just do slash those people at the PPL and then this will be my index of people um, mine is actually categorized so I'll say marketers I'll have one for health um, the nice thing with with the system or at least with with this app is it's just a blank canvas um, I've built out mine in a way that makes sense to me it may make less sense to somebody else and they'll create their own version if you look at the the Germans uh, if you look at some of their screenshots of what or the videos of what their ones look like it's quite different to mine um, but the concept is is the same or similar so you have structured notes um, there's no hierarchy inside of inside of a Zettel Custom system. It's just a flat, it's just a flat system of notes. And sometimes there's they're linked together, and most of the times they're not. They just sit there. So you need to find them somehow later on. And that's where you do tags. It's like how would I like to find this note in the future? So um, most of my structured notes are things that I'll never it's like main categories in my mind that I'll, I won't ever f forget so I have one for health personal my name um, travel uh, you can see the travel one inside here um, well at least a, a, a smaller version of, of my big one um, writing I have one for domains um, but then I also have different ways of getting there so domains is also linked to from my TLB structured notes so there's always many ways of finding something and i've never not been able to find something because this little search engine thing here is so powerful you just type in any search query 
and it'll just narrow it down and then you can ah oh, that's it that's what i'm looking for um yeah so let me see what else i've missed here so okay let's if we look over here so i have my processes number one is the notes i take i typically take analog notes i, I don't normally put direct uh, notes directly into the digital one although i do sometimes um, so an example of this would be if I went to PPL, um, Adam Grant. So Adam Grant is an interview I listened to recently. And if you go here, this is one of Tim's newest ones. This was maybe a few weeks ago. In fact, let's have a look here. And here I've taken a screenshot of my, of my notebook. You can see that's the link to page one of my screenshot and this is page two um, so this is what my notes look like I normally disappear on a Saturday and I'll tear through one or two or three podcasts and I'll take analog notes in my little small book with my pencil um, you can see timestamps and I you know a rough idea of what they were talking about and that's kind of how I take my analog notes they're quite rough it's just what I'm hearing, what I'm thinking in that moment, which is why I always put the the timestamp so I can go back later on. Um, so what I've done is um, I've processed those notes over here. So this is page one. I haven't processed my page two yet, but you can see what they look like. 18, 12, which is that they um, they spoke about challenge network. Now, whenever there's a concept that I feel it's worth having its own note. Um, so challenge network is a nice idea. Now, challenge network, the idea of a challenge network isn't necessarily unique to Adam Grant. So I've created a new note and well, I've created a new ID. In fact, if I go there now, it's blank. So, and if it, if it didn't exist yet, I could have just done that and then command U and it will create a unique ID and if I go there now it will be blank because that doesn't exist yet but I have one already um, so I'll delete that one so challenge network becomes its own node its own dot um, that's not that's linked to Adam because he mentioned it here in this conversation a group of people who will give unvarnished feedback to learn um, and the question you ask is are there any holes in my, um, in my logic so you are you know there's obviously confirmation bias so confirmation bias is a mental model so what I could do is over here I could you can also do multiple tabs here so it does so you don't lose the page you're on I can say mental models uh, confirmation bias that's confirmation bias there so I'm going to copy that ID come here um, and I could say I'll, uh, um, confirmation bias And you can represent it in any way you want now. So if I to type in bias, because um, I know that there's, um, or I could have typed in confirmation, confirmation bias, and you can see it's now got two references to confirmation bias, the mental models, um, ment um, the mental models st structured note. Um, that page is blank, which is why it hasn't shown up. I haven't created that one. Um, and obviously him so we've made a we've made a connection here so this is why this is how I process my notes the next one um, 3156 which was that one there um, the one thing I can do better um, I made a note here I need to revisit for context because I can't remember what the context was um, but I'd made a little reference which meant it was important me important enough for me to do that but um, I'll need to go back and re-listen to that snippet 
and figure out what it was and then I'll fill it in over here. And as you can see, I've just worked my way down through my notes and process them over here and over here. It looks like there's another note um, based on comments on my plate. This is something I can do, I can add. And I've linked to ah, Derek Sivers. So, okay, so this is an idea of I don't have time, I'm too busy, which is a lie, which is a lie. It's that's the that, that's the wrong reason. Um, they, um, Adam and Tim spoke about. Well, that's actually quite the the subtext around that when you're responding to people and say, well, I just don't have to, I, I just don't don't have time right now. Um, essentially, it's I don't care. Um, a better, more respectful version. This is I'm not sure if this was Tim or Adam that said this. Based on the comments, on, um, the commitments on my plate, this is not something I can add, which is a, a better way of letting someone down. Um, so when I was processing this note, I remembered that um, Derek Sivers has says something similar um, in a book that I read. So I just added the ID to that, which is why it's there. So if I go there, you can see Derek, Siv uh, Derek Sivers was the forward to the um, the business of expertise. He actually wrote the forward, and it, it's so well written that um, I've used this. I've made it. I've made my own version of this. Is what I use to essentially let people down um, that I can't do something. Um, and then related. So this is on the Derek Sivers page. That's um, the forward that he did. And then there's also something related, which is saying no to everything else. And if I click on that, it'll go to that page um, on his website and I can read more. So you can see how, how everything's getting getting linked up now. So now we've got Derek, people and Adam all linked up together um, because of the context I've started to create. And yeah, basically that's how I've process the note. I've not done page two, like I said. If you go here, you'll see my page two, but I've, it doesn't exist in here. This was this is just me demoing um, how I normally process my notes. Um, if I go to the Adam Grant page here, so the Zettel is, is, a, is just something that you write in your own words that represents this note. Um, I cheated. I just copied and pasted this piece over here. Typically, you would never copy and paste a zettel because it needs to be expressed in your own words. And it's a good signal that if you can't express something in your own words, you don't have a grasp of it yet. And then you need to obviously dig deep and figure it out. Um, but for the sake of this demonstration, I just copy and pasted it here. And then um, for Adam Grant, you can see I've listed his four books. Um, There's an ID here. Where does that go? Oh, that doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> um, all right. So this is a book that I own. So in my main, in my main archive, that goes to the book notes for that book. I haven't copied them across over to this one, um, but that's what that is. So you can see if I had to go to if I had to write originals in the search box here um, on my main archive there'd be multiple references would, would pop up, not just the one for his name. Um, and then related to him is Derek and Tim so far. And so if I type in Adam for Adam Grant or Grant, you can see those connections are all starting to present themselves here. Um, so what else? Um, Servers, Tim Ferriss, it's just a blank one. People I've already shown you. Um, Challenge Network was an, um, an idea, I mean, uh, a node that I wanted to show you and the rest we've already been through. Let me look at my image here. Yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm gonna take questions and I'll probably redo this um, after the Q&A call based on what questions you have from what I've just presented now. Um, this is just a quick brain dump of what I think um, is what you need to know for this thing. But if there's anything I've missed out or if you have any questions, let us know on the Q&A call and then I'll shoot a, 
I'll shoot a take three of this. But for now, that's it. Ciao.